And then they got the right coaches in there. And so they did it right. They took their time. They waited. While we were trading Ingram, Randall, yeah, totally we fucking did. trading everything. A, a Pope, gone. Firing everybody. Uh, the brother up in Sacramento, Malik. Yep, everybody gone. gone. We were trading like, and then we weren't getting anything for it. Westbrook, gone. Everybody. You know, so, <clears throat> that, the, the ink will. Luke, gone. Frank, the, gone. <laughs> the, just... ink, the ink will lead back yeah, to, bro. The, to the problem, Suburban. which is. Mm hmm And that, and that. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. Yeah, I got you. Third and five years. You know, no. If you want to go before that, no, you could you go know. four and eight because Luke was three years, right? Yeah. Saw it happening. Three and five sounds crazier it's to me. Saw it happening when, when Phil came here. Four and eight's a lot. Perez, we did the math. Third coaching hire show in five hey, years. What's up, How you doing? And then four and eight if you count Luke. Because that was three years man. before. All week. Well. 16 was Luke. And, th and Thursday. Back to back. It's too much. Yeah, man, they don't need me for that. Do you want me this close to heat? Who are we going to be waiting for in, in the second second day? James Worthy went off on Br Bruni James and the Lakers while on a hot mic after being live for JG Reddick's first Lakers press conference. Lakers franchise legend James Worthy was caught on hot mic after JG Reddick's introductory press conference as Worthy and his co-host on Spectrum Sportsnet were unknowingly trash trashing the Lakers and Bruni James to a public audience. Worthy brought up the Celtics winning a title the right way while lamenting all the, all the stars have been traded, shading GM Rob Pelinka and Governor Jeannie Bass. They, unknown, presumably the Celtics, did it right. They took their time. They waited while we were trading Brandon Ingram, Julius Randle, Kentavious Cadwell Pope, gone, brought her up in Sacramento, Malik Monk, gone, and then we weren't getting anything for it. Russell, Westbrook, gone. The ink will lead back to the problem. Worthy's co-host was heard expressing his dismay about the fact that they are hosting their third coach's unveiling in five seasons. After that, Worthy took a pop at Brony James, widely expected to be the Lakers' selection with the 55th pick in the draft. Who are we going to be waiting for on the second day? Well, he's the greatest young player ever, ever right now. Bruni, that's what I'm going to say. This is a very embarrassing situation for all parties involved. Worthy has been a critical... Worthy has been critical of the Lakers on air, but he's never been as dismissive of the franchise as he was in these recordings. He was still tamer than one of the other hosts who continued mocking the franchise's decision and discussing them sarcastically. There shouldn't really be major consequences for this, as Worthy didn't emphatically name and shame anybody outside his very snarky comment about Bruni James. That could become problematic if the team actually ended up drafting him and Worthy has to analyze the move by pretending this hot mic incident never happened. This is a franchise that will move on from the legends if they upset the brass, as Magic Johnson and Jerry West had found out in recent, recent seasons. Hopefully, Worthy doesn't have to face any consequences for unknowingly being caught on, on the hot mic and being upset at the Lakers' misstep until now. The Lakers haven't been as bad as people make them out to be. If we look at the last five seasons of the NBA, it's baffling to see people treat the Lakers like a team that's been horribly mismanaged. There have been some very costly mistakes with the Russell Westbrook trade at the top of the list, but their record over the last five seasons is nothing to scoff at. In this stretch, they have won a title and made the Western Conference Finals. While there are two first-round exits and one missed playoff season, there aren't many teams that can claim to have won a title and also make it to the WCF in, that, in this span. The only team that would qualify for this is the Nuggets, who made the WCF in 2020 and then won the title in 2023. If the Lakers are this example of mismanagement, over the recent stretch, why haven't other teams in the West comfortably outperformed them? All the trades Worthy criticized is what enabled them to win a title in 2020 and have a duo of LeBron James and Anthony Davis. It's not easy to be successful in the NBA, but the Lakers can boast more recent success than 80% of the NBA franchises and are only outshined by one team in their conference over this spell. That's a pretty competent franchise, even if they haven't met the lofty expectations everyone's placed on them over the recent seasons. Dude, uh, dude, just wait till you fucking have to talk about it that night. We're going to be dying, dude. It's going to hit. It's going to hurt us. Well, he's the greatest young player ever right now. But, Bronny, that's what I'm going to say. I stayed at Airbnbs in Pasadena called Spring. It's in the garage that had all these arcade games. 
one of them was NBA Jam. They had me on there? The Lakers, uh, that was you and Man, <laughs> I'm walking through the airports, man. I've had an eight-year-old, a 14-year-old, a 44-year-old say, Man, I'm playing you on fucking game, oh, man. No you way. killing it, man. Oh, you no mean, way. Man, we play you all the time.